world's first never charge solar power car. The Aptura is the first solar electric vehicle that can require no charging for most daily use. At a price tag of $25,000, the Aptera is engineered to be ultra-efficient in every aspect. With the full solar package option having about 700 watts of embedded solar cells mounted on the roof, hood, dashboard, and hatch, it adds up to 41 miles of range per day under ideal conditions. Since most drivers drive less than 30 miles per day, this feature will allow such users to seldom, if ever, need to plug in to charge the batteries. Because of this, the Aptera was at first promoted as the world's first never-charge electric vehicle. Depending on the battery size chosen, outside of its 40-mile solar-powered range, the car has a 1,000-mile maximum range using the largest battery pack, which stores 60 kilowatt-hours of power and weighs just 1,800 pounds. The company states the car requires less than 100 watt-hours of power per mile on the EPA combined city and highway test cycle. Some of its power-saving features include its aerodynamic design built from lightweight composite materials, its ultra-efficient drivetrain, its skin cooling system, advanced electric motors, and of course its solar recharging capabilities. Aptor's unique active cooling system aids in minimizing drag and reducing its weight. Traditional radiators with fans add drag and weight to most vehicles, including most electric vehicles, but Aptra's designers found another way to radiate the vehicle's heat without traditional, drag-inducing radiators, which is a technique first used by animals. The Aptra's resin composite skin contains many microfluidic channels filled with a coolant to transfer heat from the batteries, motors, and solar panels to the underbelly and sides of the vehicle. The Aptra's aerodynamic design includes its smooth, drag-reducing undercarriage, which minimizes the air flowing against the motion of the vehicle. Aptera is also curved at the nose and wide along the sides while being tapered toward the trunk. In terms of its drag coefficient, which is a measure of the car's resistance, it has a value of 0.13, while the Tesla Model 3 has almost two times the drag with a value of 0.23. In terms of the car's lightweight materials, Aptera weighs 65% less than other electric vehicles today. Its body is built with ultra-lightweight composites, and its arc shape mimics the physics of an eggshell for increased levels of protections for passengers, according to the company. The car's design also has optimized roll resistance and low friction from the wheels against the ground with its three-wheel design instead of four, eliminating a touch point where energy is lost. The company also states they have a revolutionary battery charging system featuring continuous charging. The Aptra's unique diamond-shaped solar panels maximize the energy harvested from the sun. This gives fully equipped vehicles 700 watts of continuous charging power, whether driving or parked. Despite its robust charging system, it has 25 cubic feet of rear storage. In terms of weather, the car is capable of running from the temperature ranges of minus 20 and up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit meaning it can handle well in the harshest conditions using its all-wheel drive and vectorized torque control for snow, ice, sand, and gravel. In October 2022, the company announced that Maxin Solar Technologies will be the supplier of the solar cells. The custom two-dimensionally curved panels will be manufactured in-house by Aptera Motors from Maxin Cells. Customers can reserve an Aptera solar power electric vehicle with either two or three wheel hub motors for front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, with each motor being capable of 67 horsepower and the first delivery date intended for the end of this year. Breakthrough 24-7 Solar Harvesting System A University of Houston professor has created a new type of solar energy harvesting system that breaks the efficiency record of all existing technologies, which enables 24-7 solar power generation. With the architecture, the solar energy harvesting efficiency can be improved to the thermodynamic limit, which is the absolute maximum theoretically possible conversion efficiency of sunlight into electricity. Here's how it works. Traditional solar thermophotovoltaics, also known as STPV, rely on an intermediate layer to tailor sunlight for better efficiency. The front side of the intermediate layer, the side facing the sun, is designed to absorb all photons coming from the sun. In this way, solar energy is converted to thermal energy and elevates the temperature of the intermediate layer. But the thermodynamic efficiency limit of STPVs, which has long been understood to be the black body limit, 85.4%, is still far lower than the Landsberg limit, 93.3%, which is the ultimate efficiency limit for solar energy harvesting. In this work, 
it was shown that the efficiency deficit is caused by the inevitable back emission of the intermediate layer towards the sun resulting from the reciprocity of the system. The work proposes non-reciprocal STPV systems that utilize an intermediate layer with non-reciprocal radiative properties. Such a non-reciprocal intermediate layer can substantially suppress its back emission to the sun and funnel more photon flux towards the cell. It was also shown that with such improvement, the non-reciprocal STPV system can reach the Landsberg limit, and practical STPV systems with single-junction photovoltaic cells can also experience a significant efficiency boost. Besides improved efficiency, STPVs promise compactness and dispatchability, which is electricity that can be programmed on demand based on market needs. In one important application scenario, STPVs can be coupled with an economical thermal energy storage unit to generate electricity 24-7. The work highlights the great potential of non-reciprocal thermal photonic components in energy applications. The proposed system offers a new pathway to improve the performance of STPV systems significantly. It may pave the way for non-reciprocal systems to be implemented in practical STPV systems currently used in power plants. New Floating Solar System U.S.-based PV manufacturer Toledo Solar and Seaflex, a mooring solutions provider, are co-marketing a floating solar system that incorporates their respective technologies. Floating solar or floating photovoltaic FPV could play an important role in meeting the country's long-term solar energy goals because it offers, in some cases, financial and environmental benefits over land-based alternatives. As part of the expanding market of mooring solutions of floating solar parks, this addition and collaboration with Toledo Solar will be very important and valuable for both parties. The use of traditional panels has to be changed in the world market for multiple reasons and the introduction of the Toledo Solar panels is going to be an important part of this process. While focusing on mooring systems, they'll also add the ability to help their partners get to know and use a new and better technology for the panels that are to be put on the floating platforms. Water-based solar plants face unique challenges, including deep water, consequential water level variations, waves, and strong winds. When effective mooring and anchoring solutions are coupled with powerful and reliable solar technologies, the results can lower energy production costs, increase safety, and overcome environmental challenges. Toledo Solar's frameless, all-glass, thin-film solar modules make them an especially compelling solution for installation on lakes, ponds, and dams. With this new collaborative partnership, Toledo Solar and Seaflex will work together to expand the product's implementation in water-based solar solutions. The work launching Europe's largest floating solar park is groundbreaking, and the company says it's just the beginning, as they look forward to working collaboratively and strategically to enhance solar power capacity and accessibility throughout the world of floating solar.